Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, so, it's really strange that I couldn't find any information about this anywhere online, but I have got the uh, Horus X10 here from Free Sky, and I've got a relatively new uh, Hawk here, Emacs Hawk 5, and it's got the uh, Free Sky XM Plus receiver in it, and uh, for some reason it doesn't give off any RSSI on any channel, so I have a feeling that it may have been one of the receivers that just doesn't have the firmware on it that uh, transmits RSSI. I've tried everything over and over. Um, I've been trying really hard to get this thing to program correctly with the uh, uh, with the Horus X10. There's no information about the uh, smart port on the back or what pins or what and how to hook up anything, so I figured I'd provide uh, a little bit of info. Anyway, uh, I decided that it was uh, easiest here to... Uh, uh, solder on a real simple, uh, real simple header for the uh, for the XM Plus because uh, then I can just solder it off when I'm done. And so then I've got uh, I've got some jumper wires here that I've got run back to the uh, back to the Horus X10. And so let's uh, make sure we got these. We figure out what these are. The middle one is the positive for sure. The middle one is the uh, is the five volts. Uh, on the XM Plus, the outermost pin over here is this one, this guy right here, that is the ground, and then the inside one, that is the signal, and so the middle one is the, uh, is the power. So, in this case, gray is ground, purple is 5 volts, and blue is signal. And so I've got um, on here, so looking at it from the back here, the left side is the signal, the middle is the 5 volts, and then the right side is the uh, uh, is the ground uh, so I downloaded the firmware from the FreeSky website for the XM Plus and basically when you turn on this uh, this system it will not uh, or when you turn on the controller sorry the transmitter it will not power the uh, receiver so that's you know not a not a problem so I'm gonna go here to the home screen we're basically on the home screen here go into system Go down to update. In this case, this file right here is on the SD card that I've put in here. It is in the firmware directory on the SD card. I could not get this thing to see these files anywhere else, uh, even if it was in a folder within the firmware folder. So. Uh, if there's not already a firmware folder on your SD card, the X10 will create it when you uh, when you go in uh, to this screen, or at least when you boot up, it, it automatically creates a firmware folder. Otherwise, you can create a firmware uh, folder and then just drop this in there. This one, this is the one for the XM Plus that does the RSSI on channel 16, and it is the FCC version, not the EU version. And so then all we're going to do is uh, here you can select it if there's multiple files. And then you go up here to update, and as soon as you hit update, you'll see the uh, this powers up, and then it's going to start the update. We'll just watch it update here real quick. Okay, we saw it said success, and now it's uh, it has actually turned off my screen since I have that set off. So we got success. Didn't take too long, about a minute. And that's it. That looks like it should be done. Now I'm going to go in and see if I can get my RSSI signal on channel 16, which should be aux 12 by the time I get into beta flight. All right, we got the uh, Hawk 5 hooked up to the laptop here and beta flight, so we're going to connect to it. And then we're going to go take a look at the receiver tab and as you see we finally have an RSSI signal bouncing up and down on aux 12 I have set up RSSI on aux 12 and saved it and then I have gone down into my OSD and added RSSI at the very bottom of the screen and so all that stuff is all configured and set up so let's uh, see if it's working Aside from my uh, Fat Sharks, I've got these nice Emacs box goggles that are my extra ones to give to people if they want to take a ride. Camera's not hooked up right now, so you can't actually see any video, but you can see right there at the bottom. Got my RSSI signal, exactly how it should. Hope this helps somebody out, because boy, was I frustrated with this whole thing. Anyway, happy flying!